jerky and it goes into back straps. Those go all the way down this whole section, tenderloin. Oh, some free range bison back straps for my December buffalo hunt. My meat tenderizer I made. know what's up, waiting for dinner, I'll pound my meat, a little trick when you have Back it in the bags, once it's thawed, tenderize meat inside there before you break the seal, that way you don't get all this blood squirting all over the counter, just a little pro tip. Go. Doing a real classic cook tonight. Just sea salt, black pepper, olive oil, garlic, butter. I'm gonna put both of those cubes. They're stick. That skillet. And some fresh garlic. And we're just gonna do a sear. Olive oil medium heat in the skillet. We're gonna add this garlic butter now. Down a little bit. It down. You add olive oil with the butter, it prevents the oil from burning. So, another pro tip for y'all. that going at the steaks and then add some fresh chopped garlic on top. And then throughout this I'll be taking a spoon and pouring this garlic butter on top of the steak. This whole thing should probably only take around nine minutes or less to cook. Keeping the vampires away with all this garlic. You know who you are. Creatures of the night. Just kidding. Hey, and stop crying. All right, so now we let the steaks rest for about five minutes. Covered. And then continue cooking inside to get your nice medium. <laughs> 